now let's go for this this circuit there is a cell there is a resistor and and there is an inductor this is a b so emf of cell let it be 14 volt the resistance let it be 2 ohm inductor 3 and and the current across it flowing at instant is 2 ampere and current increases at a rate di by dt 1 ampere per second let it be 3 ampere the current is increasing at a rate 1 ampere per second okay fine no so what is the potential difference vab that we are going to write that one so what is the basic idea where current enters that what we say that end is positive so i'm not bothered about anything inductor i'm just treating like a one circuit element current enters positive negative here current enters positive this negative and we are showing only this actual current what about induced current <coughs> it will be there flowing towards left we are not bothered so you are not bothered means the magnitude that will be less but it will try to oppose and what we are showing is the resultant current is it okay so now let me write the loop equation so from the loop equation va minus c e, minus c e, minus i into r what about here the drop across inductor i am moving from positive to negative i'll call vl equal to 0 what is vl <coughs> potential drop across inductor so this will be va 14 i into r this i'll write it as l di by dt and di by dt i'll substitute with sign so how to write potential drop across inductor from where this formula i brought it from here only from very very formula that is emf generated the potential drop across the inductor is equal to l into di by dt here the di by dt i'll substitute with sign now now this emf induced different potential difference is different now what we are writing here is the potential drop across inductor which is equal to l di by dt di by dt i'm going to substitute with sign uh, is it current increasing or decreasing it is increasing with the time you can see di by dt plus 1 ampere per second and so let me substitute with sign here only so va minus 14 what is the current 3 into 2 the value of this this is plus 1 sign is very important if current across the branch increasing di by dt positive so what is the drop across the inductor l into di by dt so let's solve this this will be va be equal to uh, this will be 20 14 20 20 minus 3 17 Now you, you you look at you you try to see all together. Twenty three. Twenty plus three. Ah, twenty plus three. No. Twenty three. 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 Twenty the same thing uh, instead of this i'll treat this as a cell same circuit l r e 2 ohm 3 and 3 3 ampere now in place of coil <coughs> i'm going to replace with a cell now when i'm replacing cell what i should do uh, which end of the current is increasing no so what this this end of the coil will do or say so this coil will try to oppose so in what direction to push induced current towards left so therefore where all inductor is there i should replace now with a cell now it is behaving like a cell so what should be the emf e and what is e e should be equal to l mod of di by dt not not so don't substitute di by dt with sign it's it should be mod why means already the sign you have taken care by replacing the polarity able to understand 
how did you determine the polarity sir that's what no here see like uh, the coil will oppose the very <coughs> actual current so in what direction the induced current should flow towards left the coil the coil should push some current to oppose this actual current i so to push that current to open it should be like a cell i'm treating like a cell so the induced current in what towards left means this left end should be positive the neg- and the left end should be positive terminal the right end should be negative terminal but but again don't put sign already you taken case sign by replacing with a cell so e equal to emf into should be l mod of di by dt this is the formula okay let's come for let's write equation we'll see what will end up plus minus so don't give again sign for this because you have replaced cell for cell we should not give any polarity plus minus here current is anything so from the loop equation va minus e i into r minus e minus vb0 this is how much 14 i into r 6 <coughs> this should be l mod of di by dt l is 3 so this should be mod no so this is the inductor huh? so two ways are there you can treat inductor like a just like similar to resistor right loop equation and end up or 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 you can replace with a cell so which approach is the best the first approach is the best when you see only inductor and the resistor no this approach is the better replace inductor with a cell <coughs> when only inductor and resistor are there replace inductor with a cell when a cell along with along with inductor if there is a resistor and cell is there you no know, better to treat inductor like a that one as a as a circuit element it all comes by practice as you start doing numerical you will come to know like which one has to be preferred okay no polarity of cell okay all of you got it why this left end should be positive because it should push the induced current induced current in what direction it should push opposite actual current so therefore this end should be positive this should be negative now let me put the same condition let there be a varying current this is the first case what we discussed now now let me take the same thing i'll put in another page it will be easy for you compassion yeah. now the current let it decrease with the time so earlier what happened increasing current was flowing through the coil increasing current now what about decreasing current is flowing through the coil let's write the loop equation va minus e minus ir minus vl equal to 0 va uh, e minus ir l di by dt with sign i should substitute it's a potential drop huh? this will be 14 Uh, this will be two into high into R, three into two. Self inductance of coil three, and it is minus one. V A B is equal to twenty minus three, seventeen volt. Now same thing. If I replace. all of you okay if you can understand this it's, it's almost over because al- already you know rc circuit it will be very easy for you i'm telling this one try to follow first basics here it will be much easier
now I, I want to replace this with a cell. Tell me, uh, look at the current decreasing. No? So therefore, what this inductor will do, will try to increase the current. So what it should do, it should try to push current in the direction. It should try to push induced current in the direction of actual current. So for that purpose, the polarity will be like this. I, I should not show this sign, sir. It is now very dangerous to show only for register we have to show. We should not show for inductor. I think here also, I didn't show. Are you looking at it? Plus minus, you should not show for. Only for register if you want, you can show like this. When you replace inductor with a cell, <coughs> again, don't show polarity. Plus minus like that. This is R, this is E. This is an inductor. Okay, write the loop equation. No? Va minus E minus Vr. This should be plus E. E is how much? 14. This is 6. Uh, what I should write? L, L mod of di by dt. Y mod. Already we have taken K no? by replacing the polarity. Current is decreasing minus one, but it's a mod. So therefore, VA minus 20 plus three minus VB equals zero. So VAB equal to 17 volt. Look at final. Here inductor replaces itself. Inductor has some element. Inductor as an element. I'm treating just like inductor as an circuit element whereas inductor like a source of emf here so which one is better it's left to you uh, how did i give that one when external source is there treat like circuit element when only inductor and resistor is there treat inductor like a cell then write the loop equation both the approaches are needed for us in the numerical that's why we are showing all the things sir uh, why you are not showing i induced I think it will be very small. No? Already I mentioned earlier, I induce will be very small. So what we get is like a, the resultant current, what you can call it. I induce will be small. It will oppose. The coil will oppose the varying current. Means, sir, will it nullify? No, it will not nullify. It will oppose it. If current is increasing, no, it will try its best to oppose that increasing current. For that purpose, no, it will push the current opposite to that one. What about here? Current is decreasing, so how induced current should be <coughs> should be here in this direction. But you connect emitter, will it read I or I induced? It will read resultant no. So therefore, we don't show anything high induced. It's a practice, sir. Because if you connect emitter here, what will it read? Actual current or induced current? The resultant current it will read, and we know practically I induced will be very much less than I. So just showing only I is what? That will be sufficient. Okay, fine. So this is the one, the, the best way of understanding analysis with the inductor. Uh, sir, now uh, what about the energy in the coil? Yes, it is varying because current I increases, L is constant. Then energy across the coil also increases. In what form? It will show energy in the form of magnetic field energy. So this is one basic description about the, the inductor. Okay, let's go forward.